The rivalry between the two clubs, as I say, is odd because we're not the same city. It's not a Merseyside derby. It's not a Manchester derby. It is against two cities that basically don't really like each other. Every time the two teams play, it's huge and it is a very special rivalry and, and all Derby and Forest fans, they don't agree on much but the thing that they agree on is how big that game is. They're intense, fiercely competitive affairs. Local Derby shouldn't differ that much but they do because you try to tell yourself that it's still the three points at stake, you've still got to prepare the team, you've still got to go out and try and win the game, all those sorts of things but you know that there's 30,000 people ever that means more to than just the three points. That's the thing in the town and everything and I don't, I don't believe in bragging rights or something like that but it's just a bit of pride I think uh, when you play these local games uh, that you want to win them that little bit more. The biggest games on the calendar, there's been so many incidents, so many controversial moments before and after games, during games, melees of players, even managers getting involved on the touchline, high tempo no room to play, no time to breathe almost. I've had the pleasure of scoring in the games and it's one of the, the best uh, experiences of my career. It's all about the results, the performance is irrelevant. It's all about the bragging rights and no matter what happens during the 90 minutes. When you go to the games, I mean sometimes I, I stand there and I watch and I look at some of these people and they're not even watching the game. The rivalry is incredible. The atmosphere it does be electric, to be honest, like from the forced whistle, like if, even when you're warming up, you get, you seem to get like a lot more fans in to see the, to see the players warm up and you can hear abuse from the side and stuff like that and that kind of gets you going. And then when you're walking out for the handshakes at the start and like for the forced whistle, from the forced whistle to the last, all you hear, like it's, it's tough to even hear the fella standing next to you. I've played in front of 80,000 before, but the noise, the noise is just different. It's hostile. They're difficult to prepare for as well because of the emotion and you know that some of that will transmit onto the pitch, which is why you see quite a lot of time people get sent off in local derbies and do daft things uh, because that emotion and everything comes from the crowd and gets to the players as well. Training's always a little bit more edgy, you're always a little bit more nervous about selection. It's the first thing we all look for, supporters and players, uh, when the fixtures come out. So um, it's, it's a tremendous feeling and then as soon as you walk out on that, on that pitch, the adrenaline and, and the emotions what run through your body when you do play it, either at the city ground or, or the high pro, it's, it's phenomenal. The only thing that unifies the two football clubs, as we saw at the city ground on the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of Brian Clough's death, that the two clubs, two sets of supporters, came together and mark that anniversary, and they did it as one. But Brian Clough Way links Derby and Nottingham, and it is about the only thing that does link the two football clubs.